Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Wastelands. 7 a.m. May. So, after last episode and into the late evening, we were uh, cutting grass again out here. You know, just trying to keep the uh, income coming in. I still got to bail all these. All those, well, can't really see them all, but there's some over there. And haven't even touched the grass field yet. I don't know if, uh... Yeah, the canola is ready today. I'm, um, I don't know if we need to sample this field again, because it shows it has no, no nitrogen. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I, I don't know how often you're supposed to, but we forgot to do the, uh, the old field over there. But I'm going to go ahead and, and sample this one. And then, uh, just to make sure we get the best yield out of it. I'm gonna get this, uh, get a worker on this while we harvest the, the canola. Yeah, see, it looks like it is covering the grass now. It's going to tell us what that is or what. Maybe it won't, but... Go ahead and send these out for... And like I said, I don't know if we have to do it every single time, but... I figured if we have the best... Uh, information we'll get the best a harvest I guess I caught a bell and didn't even snap because I was looking at the map this right 
There again. Now this guy is going to go on the trailer. I think he struggled pulling the... Oh yeah, and I did have to take him over to the shop, or this tractor over to the shop and repair it. The, uh, Mr. Joe had a hard time pulling the uh, baler when, when we were uh, cutting and baling. So we'll get this over by the field. Cedars buried behind the fertilizer spreader. And we'll just put soybeans in this field. Can never go wrong with soybeans. I'm gonna run a couple passes up here and on the bottoms. That way he doesn't go through and plant, plant the grass. I don't, still not sure why it's doing that.
This should prevent him wandering off. planted a tiny bit right there I think that's enough to where we can put a worker on and he's not gonna go nuts and we'll run this guy kind of offset to get a straight shot Keep an eye on him the first pass. No. Take you all the way down and start you again. Making me nervous there, Joe. Start him off again, and we'll keep an eye on him for a couple. Yeah, he's going to miss part of it, but that's all right. At least now he'll go straight all the way to, to the other side. We'll have to come peek in on him in a bit, make sure he doesn't continue on towards the uh, towards the silo there after um, he gets done with the, the edge of the field. if he makes it right. Looks like he's going to be good. We'll come grab that piece in a bit. Alright guys, let's uh, get to work on this field. Actually, let's try not to hit the crop. Let's go to this side and we'll start over here. Camouflaged in the bushes. Yeah, it kind of looks like it's just going to be normal straw again. Really know until I pick it up. With the baler. I'm almost positive that when I watched uh, the No Man's Land series for uh, Farmer Crop, that his canola straw came out. 
came out like a different color and everything. It was more translucent. I don't know if that's how you want to describe it. But I could just be doing it wrong. Maybe it's a different mod. Decent sized field we have here, so. Gonna be about 25% per pass, maybe. So roughly four passes is gonna fill the harvester. Go ahead and loop all the way around, do one headland. See, we're almost done with the field. And if you notice, those bales turned white. 
Yeah, after Joe uh, finished up planting the uh, soybeans, went ahead and had him uh, jump in the harvester, and, and he did a large portion of it so I could go uh, wrap the bales. You know, I really appreciate that, Joe. Um, he did miss a little bit over here to our lab, so once we're done with this, um, this little strip here, we'll run over there, grab that, and um, take everything over to the silo and get it, um, get it dumped in there. Uh, one thing I haven't done in a while is check the used vehicles. So I want to do that too, uh, even though we, we don't have a ton of money, but uh, I figured uh, might as well see what's in there, because uh, with both these larger fields, we're kind of thinking that a bigger harvester would be nice. Um, I ended up having to do a time lapse with a jump cut in the middle because Hell, even the time lapse would have been like eight minutes long. So hopefully it'll only be a couple minutes now. I guess you guys know right before uh, you see the end of the field. Um, the grass over there is ready. So that's something that I've got to get done too. But now I'm starting to get concerned with the bell count because we do have quite a few stacks, quite a few laying around, so I'll probably see if, if the price is decent and go sell a couple stacks before we uh, make any more. I don't remember where, where we missed that. part of the crop, I think straight ahead here. Oh yeah, and we'll wash the equipment up. This might be a two-passer. get the straw but there's just gonna be a ton of bailing going on here um, in between episodes I think we have two full st stacks of straw over there on the side of the of the uh, shed so I may just sell all of this because I don't think it's uh, listed as canola straw Probably just gonna go down as normal, normal straw. And now I figured out why I kept running into the uh, into the map over here when I thought, you know, it extends as a quarry. Our property hits the uh, corner of the map. Never really paid attention to that. So this uh, property up to our left here, you know, it's like a triangle shape. And the bottom part over here is uh, just follows the, or the, you know, the far side follows the edge of the map and the point down there. All right, well, looks like we're done. We'll just take this over, dump it straight into the silo. Was expensive. And the money dropped quite a bit because I had to go repair the uh, big tractor. I need to get a shop up here. Or shop truck, toolbox, something.
Those silage bells should be done. The ones that are stacked there. We really don't need a ton of silage right now. I mean, I know we're going to be making more anyways. Uh, because the cows, you know, they're still young. They're not producing milk yet. So they can just eat grass or hay for now. I think in total we brought three trailer fulls over plus what's in here plus what's in the trailer. So just to rub gas is uh 74,000 something like that could be off a tiny bit I don't know exactly how big our trailer is I think it's like 22,000 liters jump out here, grab the sprayer. It's supposed to be sticking the head through the metal. A strong sprayer. back in the shed. We're not going to need it for, I don't know, three, four months. Yeah, we got almost two full sacks of straw, so yeah, I'll probably just sell whatever we bail up. I shouldn't have put that wrapper there. Oh well, for now we're going to just put this right here. As far in as we can get it. That'll work. Turn it all. quite a bit of straw out of here. It doesn't pay very well, but, you know, if we can make eight or nine thousand off of it, that'll be decent. Yeah, so a vehicle priority would be a larger harvester. Um, something about double the width of the header and and uh, capacity probably at least 10,000, 15,000 liters bigger. score went up. I don't maybe that's because we planted that field. Um so yeah our field cuts off like what here. So that means that all this is loam. 
mean, we're not doing a huge portion of clay in this field, but you know, <laughs> the field would be ideal like this. You know, this this uh whole area here, because I'm sure that's loam and uh, sandy loam. All right, so enough yapping. I wanted to see. So we have fifty-five thousand wheat, seventy-eight thousand so uh, canola, and thirty-one thousand soy. Um. Sixteen thousand straw. Oh yeah, it is producing manure. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I just want to see. So yeah, it doesn't give you different types of straw. So it's just going to be the same one. check on the chickens and the I mean the chickens the sheep and the cows I think they should be doing okay I mean they could always use more water but they're doing they're doing okay and they still have only produced this one Bale of straw. I mean, of uh, wool. Got straw in the mind, I guess. Cows haven't produced any milk. Yeah, I see no milk. Wonder if we put grass and hay in there if it'll give them a little bit uh, higher health. Haven't tried it yet. They're still doing okay on food, so. Yep, this grass is ready to go. There's our manure. Our manure. Hi, ladies. You guys growing big and strong? Thank you. And I'm assuming these are not just ladies. Hi, sheep. We'll just call them sheep. It's safe. It doesn't look like this grass that I painted in is gonna oh no this is the uh, that's the pasture that I put the wrong direction so yeah we we'll probably have to paint it in with normal field grass see if it grows we have our we have our uh, oats just randomly growing out here in the grass. And right there. And I checked for an update on the map. There's no update, so I don't know. I don't know what's causing it, if it's one of the mods that I have, or if it's a problem with the, the map itself. But, 
we shouldn't be able to just plant in the grass that we haven't plowed. Alright guys, well, you know, we got this field here planted with the, uh, with the soy. We got that field harvested. Nitrogen's good. Lime looks okay. And he's rolling. And I didn't see this one over here. Let's check on the oats, see if everything's good to go over on them. If we need to run some fertilizer, we will. Lime's good, nitrogen's good. Um. Yeah, I think we're okay on this one for now. And when I come back next episode, I'll uh, have gotten all these picked up. You know, before we say goodbye, let me check these silage. This silage. If it's ready, we'll probably uh, sell that first thing next episode yep it's all ready so we'll sell all of this um like I said we're not gonna need it right this second yep and then uh for the cows yeah I forgot about that they're gonna have a couple months yet. Just look at them. So they're one month old. And I don't think they start producing for at least 12 months, 18, something like that. So yeah, we'll have time to to save up some more silage for the total mix ration and we're gonna need a, a mixing trailer so, all right guys so we'll uh we'll do what we can next episode since we're kind of at a uh, point to where there's not going to be any field work for a little while except for the grass and then um still contemplating plowing a smaller field over here just because we know it's loam all through here but all right guys i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching if you're liking them Please uh, hit thumbs up and subscribe if you uh, have nothing else to do. All right, thank you. Bye.